Uh, I mean, hello guys, welcome. Um, hello guys, um, this is my first video in a while. It's been eight days since I last did a YouTube video. And you guys are probably wondering, oh, why is it a dark screen? And I don't know, it's... it's uh, I, I wasn't really expecting on making a video today, I just put on the camera, but... But I just wanted to say a few things. I don't know whoever's gonna watch this video. I'm guessing it's probably only gonna be 10 or 20 people. <laughs> Which, you know, uh, that's life. I mean, that's reality. You know, this video isn't the best of the videos. It's not... Okay, well, let's not draw on the semantics of it. And uh, let's talk about what we're gonna talk about. So, well, I don't know. Like, I, I just... <laughs> I feel like I've kind of turned my life up, not upside down, well, upside down. I have actually, yeah. S say how it is, nigga. Don't, don't try and sugarcoat the shit. All right, cool. I'll say how it is, even though people don't like the truth. But my life has kind of turned upside down. <laughs> I mean, everything has turned to shit. Everything? Would you say? Would you say everything, or would you say eighty percent, seventy percent? Probably, probably a hundred percent. There's really nothing going for me right now. Well, what's going on for me right now? I don't have a relationship. Yeah, but did you ever really value a relationship? Let's be real. <laughs> when have I ever valued a fucking relationship? Good point. But, you know, it's like, my life is just so, <laughs> I don't know, like, I don't really interact with anybody, I'm, I'm always alone, which I'm okay with, like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not like, oh, I'm not like sitting here thinking to myself, oh, woe is me, I'm sitting alone, like, it is what it is, nigga, I'm not worried, I'm not really like worried about that part, that part isn't really the part that, it doesn't even eat at me. I don't really care about that part. That part's okay. I don't really care about being alone. But it's like... Damn. I'm doing everything just for me. <laughs> and it's like selfish, I guess. Who gives a fuck about that shit, man? Who cares about being selfish? Life's about being selfish. I mean, if you if, if we weren't supposed to be selfish... We probably wouldn't be living as individual human beings, right? <clears throat> we would probably be two entities or I don't know, like maybe maybe there would be like a master body and then a minor body. And then the master body tells the minor body what to do. <laughs> so like two people will be connected to each other somehow. And then there's always that dominant force that always tells them what to do. And they do what the per other person tells them. Which I think is actually indicative of indicative of how people live their lives now even though they're not di directly tied they're indirectly tied you know just like when you have the boyfriend you're the girlfriend you're sitting at home and he pays for everything but you can never leave that relationship because if you do then you lose the financial the financial stability that you had when you were in that relationship so indirectly you're tied to them and in so that means that you have to put up with the person's cheating put up with the everything that they do because you're financially tied to them and you have more to lose if you if you leave the relationship than vice versa see how i gave you guys a little bit of life advice basically what i'm saying is never be completely dependent on someone else because they can use that to leverage against they can use that as leverage against you for whatever type of situation may arise in the future Man, it's like life, life is just, man, I, 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 I guess I'm just starting to realize now that everything that I did, I did it. And, 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 and no, no, let me make this clear. I don't regret anything that I did though. Like, I really don't. Like, my life is the way it is because of choices that I've made. And that's cool, you know, I accept that. But the thing is, it's like, 
I just can't seem to wrap my head around it. Like, it's just crazy because, because I mean, I'm not crazy. Like, when I look around and I see what everyone else is doing with their life, and then when I see what I'm doing with my life, it's like polar opposites. Like, I'm nothing like everyone else. I mean, most people, what they do is they fucking get a job and get a relationship get married have children die that's 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 the that's the natural progression of most people's lives right like they fucking live their whole life meet someone marry them work their whole life have a family and then die and then they and then their children repeat the cycle and their children's children repeat the cycle and that's how they fucking do it maybe i mean that's 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 cool. I mean, so everyone has their own fucking ideals of how to live their life, which I just find that fucking boring, though, man. I, I just I find that so me- meaningless and boring and like what you. I just don't. I don't really see the point. But then, but then a little light bulb goes off in my head, and then it's like, and then I'm looking at it from a different perspective, and I'm like. Okay, if you live your whole life for pleasure, women, drugs, alcohol, working out, social media fame, money, then your life is going to feel more meaningless than if you have a family and you build meaningful relationships, you build it like i mean i get it like everyone's gonna say oh you're biologically wired to want to have sex with women and then when you have sex you gave children blah 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 but it's like such a simplistic way of looking at life like so the only reason i exist on this planet is to have a family and get a job have sex have children and then that's it that's my life yeah pretty much man but that's the thing though like i'm never like even if i wanted to have a wife and children like i don't want to go through the same steps that other people do to get relief i don't want to do any of that shit i don't want to work hard for all that bullshit like i just don't i i honestly i mean i can see why other people do it i can see why other people do it and 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 i get it but it's just not for me I mean, do I yearn for, yeah, but I don't yearn for meaningful ones. Like, I I don't, I, 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 if I was in a relationship right now, I think I would probably sabotage it. I I don't want to be in a relationship. I guess I want (laughs) to, what do I want? I want to satisfy my selfish urges. That's pretty much it. I could really care less about a relationship or anything like that. But, you know, inherently human beings are selfish. I mean, I think we all are selfish in some ways. Right? I mean, (laughs) most people are fucking selfish anyways. Like, and they're full of shit. So, you know, you know, you know, the thing is most people, most, look, look, look. If anyone's actually watching this video, if there's one thing that you can learn from this video is that most of the people that you will meet in your life are full of shit and are only looking for what they can gain from you. They're not your friend. No, no, they're not your fucking friend. They're only there to see what they can gain from the situation. They're not your friend, bruh. <laughs> you need to realize that now, today, right now, right the second. They're not your friend. No, they're not your fucking friend. They're not your fucking friend. I don't even... Shit, I don't even think I've ever found... I've ever had a fucking single genuine friend in my entire life. And I can say that with 100% certainty, but... Damn, it's like... I just come to the realization that my whole life is just... Meaningless and... And, and and boring, you know. Um, when, at some point, when you do the same shit over and over again, 
it starts to become boring it starts to become uninteresting it starts to become monotone it starts to become like a chore or you know the, the things things that you find enjoyable are only enjoyable because you, you you give them to yourself as a reward so let me give you an example compare person a and person b now i'll give characteristics to person a and characteristics to person b and then tell me which one is more fulfilled and happy now person a goes to work every day has the nice picket fence home blah 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 the family and everything and he, he works a nine to five job comes home tired every day but when he comes home and and he has free time <clears throat> he can enjoy that even more than the other guy person b who's at home all day playing video games smoking weed his dopamines are high right like he's already burnt out most of his dopamines the, the side of your body that's seeking pleasure now the thing is the downside to having so many dopamines released is that when you're having when you're doing an, an, an activity that's supposed to be enjoyable like maybe smoking a joint watching porn i don't know <laughs> what else is enjoyable shit um stuff like that you know those things that are normally enjoyable or even having sex what else hiring a hooker <laughs> uh, not like i hire hookers i don't do that but i'm just saying anything that you do re recreational for fun right it's just not gonna be as fun when it's like something you're doing every fucking day like imagine you're hiring a hooker every day and you're smoking a joint every day that joint you smoke is not gonna be as effective if you do it every day as opposed to someone that does it once a week or once a month you know what i'm saying i mean your tolerance is always going to build up when you do certain activity yeah i think it's also about tolerance too you know it's just a lot of factors but my point is like i can see i can actually see i can see it like i can get it i i totally understand like i totally get it i totally understand the blueprint to be successful I mean, I, I totally, totally understand it. But the thing is, understanding and knowing how to be successful and actually, actually doing it, it's two different things, man. <sighs> it's like, I, I just don't have the fundamentals and the the hard wiring, the, the foundations to be successful right now. Like, you got to build a foundation to a successful house. Just like you got to build a foundation to discipline and hard work and something that you want to accomplish you have to lay the foundation and then you can build on the hard work then you can grow it and grow it it just doesn't happen overnight you don't become a doctor overnight just like you don't become a programmer overnight just like you don't become anything overnight it takes time it takes maturity it takes time to actually gain the knowledge that you need it takes time you got to persevere through challenges you're going to have pitfalls you're going to have people that always tell you that you can't do it. You're going to have people that fucking tell you that you can't accomplish this because you're not good enough. There's always going to be the people that try to tell you not to do it because, oh, you're going to be wasting your time. You're not going to do it. Blah, blah. Like, doubters, deniers. And then there's always, and then there's going to be you. Your internal, the internal part of your body that's telling you, oh, Dini, let's not do this. It's a waste of time. We're never going to accomplish it anyways. And then there's another voice telling you, oh, let's get this done. And then there's the procrastination voice telling you, let's go on YouTube and watch a few videos. And then there's the expectation voice telling you something else. And then there's another voice telling you something else. And it's like, damn. But but the voices, you know, um, it's easy to blot them out and, and actually do the work that needs to be done. But do you really want to do it, though? That's the thing. You gotta really want it. That that's that that's really all that all it comes down to. 
Do you really want it? How badly do you want this to happen? How badly do you want to succeed? That's really the only thing that really matters. That's the only factor that I can point to that's going to be something that you can use to become successful. If you have that, if you want it badly enough, you can make almost anything happen, anything work. Because you're literally going to dedicate your entire life your entire fucking life to trying to accomplish that one little goal, then you're fucking gonna get it. Dude, you're gonna get it done. Doesn't matter what it is. And you'll probably find the most efficient way. <laughs> you'll probably find the literally the most efficient fucking way to get it done. If you really want it badly, badly enough, then you'll get it done. But in my opinion, like, Let's let's move away from that from a bit. Let's let's just go off on a tangent. I've just found that lately, you know, uh, it's it's not it's not really a thing that I'm seeking out, but it's like I I just gave up on females. Like I've already given up on women. Like I don't know. I think I gave up on women like fucking ages ago. Like maybe a year ago. Really, to be honest, I gave up a year ago because I was like, I mean. I've already had a few sexual experiences and uh, they didn't really go that well and I didn't really enjoy it that much. So it's like maybe let's just take a step back and just and just move on with my life without having sex forever, ever again. Like, would I be okay with never having sex again? Would that be fine? I think, I mean, yeah, I mean, it totally would be. It It, it totally would be, to be honest with you. I think the mo- the the only thing the only real thing that I'm really seeking out of a female right now is just sexual gratification. Nothing else. I mean there's really nothing else that I need. What do I need from her? Like what the fuck do I need from you, man? Literally nothing except for that. So um I'm just hey, I mean I know, I know, I know this is kind of crazy and I'm just blurting everything out. No filter, just Telling me how it is. But that's just... Literally, that's me, man. That's my life. I mean, that's what I... That's how I look at things. That's my thought process. And for anyone that actually watched this video, um, I appreciate you guys, man. I'm out. Peace.